Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Nodding. In this episode, I want to share the breakdown on how I created this kind of like a kind of kind of like a liquid traveling and flowing across Suzanne. So this is yeah currently running kind of okay. It's just pretty slow. I will stop the animations for now. So this is basically created uh, all of uh, the process is basically automatic. I'm using the uh, IV curve for a start and this IV curve is currently hidden but if I yeah I'll show you okay originally it's basically an IV that has been optimized using spare chalk and then from this IV I'm using an add-on called sample curve okay and this sample curve basically generating like a like a dot or like a, an instance of objects along the curve part and it's actually animating so that's basically what's happening so if I get rid of the remesh you will see the secret it's actually like a flowing icosphere okay this flowing icosphere when remesh is becoming a little bit more like liquid so let's turn everything on this icosphere if I make it smaller it's just gonna be like looking like a Kind of like a particle flowing across the curve right so this is uh this is what this add-on is doing is by ginyumbi the okay this is the whole geometry that's creating the dots okay uh let me think of how to explain this oh okay so the curve itself, first of all, is been uh, is an IV that's been optimized, like I said. Uh, so if I go back a couple of blend files, this is the IV, okay, IV curve, and you can of course can animate the IV start and end if you have a little bit of bevel. Can animate this so it's basically just like a curve let me just turn this off so this curve is a curve objects but I want to I want to optimize this using geometry nodes first of all so geometry nodes is really really fast and you it can operate on curve object as long you turn off the bevel okay you have to turn off the depth of the bevel so now you can resample the curve to whatever value that you want. And of course you can animate it from here. <clears throat> and at this point, I actually want to apply the curve using geometry nodes. But this is the limitations. Blender geometry nodes modifier doesn't allow it to perform on on the curve objects because it thinks that this is like already like a mesh object it's pretty weird that uh, this is it works like that but anyhow I'm using sphere chop in order for this to work properly okay this is like the optimized versions of the curve right and then I just gonna get get this curve Turn on pause and use polyline viewer. And before we do that, just separate separate loose part because this is gonna be a lot faster for spare chalk and blender to calculate. So I just connect it. <clears throat> Wait a few seconds. Hopefully this works. Okay. Suddenly, blender uh, actually uh, spare chalk generates like uh, one thousand curve objects over here I need to try to scroll and grab everything and just move it into new collections maybe all I want is actually just to join all of them into a single curve we can delete sphere chalk so we still have the original because the original IV is actually really really 
uh, dense and very unoptimized. Now, let's just call it X01. So after we resample it using geometry nodes, uh, geometry nodes and then sphere chalk, now we have curve that's really truly optimized and we can actually animate this. So this is scrubbable and it's very, very fast. And it's already back uh, as a curve object. So it's really handy. So this is IV optimize. It still has a uh, 1000 curve that's combined together into a single curve. And then from here, if you want, we want to use this sample spline, all we need to do is to apply the modifier. Okay, this is, this is the add-on. So by default, this is what the, the add-on is doing. Um, so you can adjust the speed and it's actually resampling the curve from the inside. We can change this to count, I believe. No, this is to be evaluated. But we can try resampling the curve here. Okay. Uh, anyway, it doesn't quite work. Quite work. Anyway, the, the curve will generate this icosphere that's kind of animated along the path. This is exactly what we want to use to to have like a flowing liquid on on the IV. I just copy this back to our Suzanne curve. Paste. So this is just a simple curve using this modifier and inside it there's all this uh, bunch of nodes calculating and generating these drips. So all we need to do is select our curve and select these guys. Command L, link, oh, actually copy modifiers. Wait a few seconds, hopefully this works. Uh, what's gonna happen is it will not work until you turn off the bevel. Something you need to understand uh, when you turn on and off the bevel, Blender is actually turning and converting the curve into mesh if you have bevel. So bevel, bevel over here, if I select, it's currently running it's a bit slow. I need to select IV optimized. And turn off the depth bevel. Okay, yep, I have a feeling I can just kill this original IV. Okay, now we just have this guy still running a little bit slow. Maybe we have, maybe our icosphere is too large. It's overlapping and Blender just doesn't like that. This is a little bit better, safe. So apparently yeah, by having more resolutions, we're actually generating more icosphere along the path. So that's probably what we want. And now from 1000, curves that's been generated from IV that's been optimized by geometry nodes and sphere chalk we have this uh, running icosphere kind of like a flowing icosphere this is nice nice kind of effect and from here all you need to do is just to remesh the icosphere just remesh um, yeah so that's basically the whole process it's a uh, it's pretty easy i mean it's so but a lot of kind of complex processing but pro you only like you only need to plug everything together and you get this really complex looking effects 
it's probably what you want um, it's just like another level on top of the the IV or like a what is it the spider-man uh, venom kind of effects you know like an IV growing this one is similar to that but instead of IV growing this is like a water water drops that's flowing across the curve and I didn't make the I didn't make this uh, node 3 setup it's from Gin Yumbi the but it's very very handy maybe he has some more tools over here you can give donations or just purchase it for zero dollar and use it if you find it useful always give donations to help the artist or the developer okay so yeah hopefully you find this uh, useful and thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you